of the stage. DK be spazzing, they know man. I want all the cash I can have with these things. Where there's no kizzy, man. I want all the cash I can have with these things. Where there's no kizzy. Yo, how are you sitting there? Yes, you sitting right there. Hi. Basically, in today's tutorial, I will show you how to make that amazing kind of matrix build up and impact, as well as the sound effect. The own plugins you will need for this tutorial is the Sapphire and Junior plugins. But other than that, let's get right into the tutorial. Whoa! Oh, sorry, guys, I thought I've ended recording. <laughs> So basically the first thing we want to do is to time wrap the clip and sync it up with the music as usual and then we can start doing the build up. Basically how to do the build up is go to the shot frame pack, that's the first frame you see the numbers pair. We see that this is the first frame you see the numbers pair. Basically on the spare press on your clip and press ctrl b to split your clip right there. Then basically from here we need to go 50 frames to the left. There are two ways to do that, you can either just go with your arrow keys 50 frames to the left or I will show you guys right now a much faster way of doing that. Basically what you need to do is you need to press on the first part of the clip, so the one to the left of the shot of impact and on that press ctrl D on that clip, then switch over to frames on the format and write in minus 50 and then basically just press change. That will make so it becomes shorter like this. Basically what you need to do is you need to drag your red cursor all the way to where that clip ends now and basically press M on your keyboard to mark that place so we know that that's the 50th frame and then basically just drag it out to the shot of impact. Press on that clip again and go to the marker we place it and press ctrl B and then we basically know that that part is exactly 50 frames long. But what we need to do now is the part we cut out you need to hold alt on it and drag it one layer up to basically create a copy and then you need to do that one time more. Hold alt and drag it one layer up. So we basically have two copies above each other like this. But for now we can disable the top copy by just pressing D on it. And now on middle clip we are actually gonna mask out the character. How gonna mask out the character? It's really easy. Basically just hover over it and go to the cal tab. Instead of it go to the circle with four dots and press on this pencil thingy. And then this red cursor drag all the way to the left to go to the first frame and keyframe the character one. And then basically what you need to do is you need to just press around your character and mask it out like this. I'll see you guys when I'm done with the first frame. So basically now I'm done with the first frame, basically connect to that end. And basically what you need to do now is just go with the arrow keys frame by frame and correct the dots. You don't need the keyframe the correct one anymore because it will get keyframe automatically when you change something. But one tip you can use and that might help you is the first 25 frames doesn't need to be accurate at all because you won't see that because of the matrix transition. But I will see you guys when I'm done. So basically now I'm done with all the frames. Basically what you need to do now is go to nodes up here. If you don't see it, just press the nodes up here and right click anywhere and press add alpha output and connect it like this. Then you can go back to the edit tab and right click on the clip and press new compound clip. Press create like this. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to the clip we cut out all the way down to so the original clip we cut out down here. And this what we're gonna do is we will go to open effects and to chop looks. I've actually I didn't use looks that much in my recent tutorial, so I thought this may be a good video to bring back magic book looks. But basically just drag it that and drop it on the original cutout clip. And then basically in the description you should find the gold ruffle there. And in this gold ruffle there, I left the magic book looks preset and basically now I'll show you guys how to import it. Basically how to import it is go to window search down here and search up percentage or vocal app data percentage and then only open up this folder. This should pop up then scroll until you find looks builders right here then go to looks then go to custom or any folder and this is just drop the preset inside of here. I have it in another folder then you can close out and you don't even need to restart the entry result but then basically press on the clip again go to effects and press edit the book. Then all of this should pop up, I have it in another folder, but for you it should be in your customs or the folder that you chose. Here matrix looks RP, basically just press on that and press on the check mark and should get applied. If you can't see it as I can't see it in my case, then basically just drag the string to 0 and then to 100 again. And if you still can't see it, take away all keyframes if you have any. But now we actually can start off by doing the transition from the normal color to the color correction. Basically how we can do that is this clip we disabled before, now you can undisable it by pressing D on it and drag it one layer up, just like that. And then how to do this transition is actually really easy, you need to right click on the clip and press new compound clip, that's really important that you do. Then you just hover over it 
and go to the fusion tab and in single raffle that as you found the match would look preset you should find a preset called matrix disappear transition rp preset basically download that and just drag it in and connect it like this all the keyframe will be done so the transition should already be done and everything should be done so basically then you can just go back to the edit tab and for now we can again say goodbye to our little transition clip by just disabling and press D on it. For now we don't need it because now we're gonna add the nice glue to the character. Basically how we're gonna add the nice glue to the character is basically just hover over the concord clip with the masked character. I just hover over that and go to the fusion tab. Then in single ruffle you should find a preset called blue character RP. Basically just download it and drag it in like this, connect it. It's really cool, but then basically you go back to the edit tab and now we're gonna add the zoom in and pre-shake. How I'm do that is, it's basically on the lane between the character mask and the matrix transition that is disabled right now. We are gonna actually add the zoom in and pre-shake. Basically how we're gonna do that is go to FX and drag in the adjustment clip and make so the adjustment clip ends on the shot of impact or where all the other clips ends. Do not make the adjustment clip shorter, basically drag the whole adjustment clip and make it so it ends on the shot of impact because if you make it shorter it will mess up the preset we're gonna use but basically then just hover the adjustment clip and go to the fusion tab and in the same good draft you should find a zoom in plus pre-shake RP preset basically just download that and drag it in like this and then basically just connect it. All the keyframing will be done as usual at the end. Then basically go back to edit them and now you can make that just clip shorter from the beginning if you want. But now we can undisable the transition clip on top by just pressing D on it and it should look something like this. Then basically for the impact you just need to go to the shot of impact and in the effect drag in the adjustment clip and make it so it starts on the shot of impact. Then basically just hover over the adjustment clip and go to the fusion tab and in the description you should find the RP impact preset. Basically just download that and drag it in like this and connect it. Then you come back to edit tab right click and press render cache color. And now we're gonna add the sound effect. Basically, in the single draffle, you should find a pump build up sound effect. Basically, just download that and drag it in. Huge credit to Spixy for the sound effect. I'll link his YouTube in the description. I got the sound effect from his sound effect pack. I'll link that in the description too. But basically, how to use the sound effect is you basically need to listen to the sound effect and listen to where the shotgun shot happens. So for me, it's it's right there basically for me. So basically press M on your keyboard to put on a marker right there. Then just drag the sound effect and make so the marker is on the shot of impact and it should be synced up. But that's basically it for today's tutorial. If you enjoyed, please consider drop a like and a sub. But other than that, see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye!